Peace and love, family, peace and love. I pray this video finds you having a beautiful day. I hope you're feeling inspired and creative. I hope you're feeling amazing, most importantly, because you are amazing. And it is my duty to remind you of your amazingness every single day. So reminder, you are amazing. <laughs> Before I get into this video, I also wanna thank you for sharing space with me. Thank you for tuning in. This is not legal advice. I am not a lawyer, but I do pray that you find some some information, some valuable information in this video, okay? So today I actually wanted to talk about proper identification. I want to talk about what constitutes as a form of identification. So a lot of us are studying consumer law right now, and the more you study consumer law, the more you become aware of your rights, your consumer rights, the more you realize you do have a right to privacy, the more you realize private information needs to remain private. So as you begin to exercise your consumer rights by sending in your letters, calling them out on their bullshit, letting them know that you are fully aware that they did not conduct a proper investigation, and if they did conduct an improper investigation, you are writing them to request the full account documentation. You're requesting that they show you exactly who they talked to, on what day, what time, what was the conversation about. You have the right to request this information because it is regarding you. So in the Freedom of Information Act, the FOIA, you can request information on your behalf if you feel that something is not right. And so with these um, credit reporting agencies, they are doing a whole lot of scamming. <laughs> That's just what I'm going to call it because they're not conducting proper investigations. They're using their automated system to verify information just by keywords and certain verbiage. So also when you're handwriting your letters, it increases your chances of your letter getting to a physical person that can act on your behalf. These automated systems will verify and send you back letters that were generated automatically and there wasn't an investigation done and now you're being hurt even more. It's just a little side note, if you can, definitely handwrite your letters because their automated system cannot pick up on handwritten letters. So the system is literally just their way of being lazy. It's their way of saying, shit, they're not gonna double check us anyway. Let me just automatically verify. They're not gonna double check. So when you handwrite, you are pretty much like, uh-uh, I'm good on your automated system. Do what I'm asking you to do. A lot of times the credit reporting agencies will write you back basically saying that they need to identify you, identify you. So they'll ask you to either send a copy of your ID or your social security card. I'm here to tell you that your social security card is not a form of identification. It's definitely not. Um, in the early 70s, actually on the social, it said for social security purposes only, not for purposes of identification. So early on, the Social Security Administration made it clear that your social security card is not to be used for identification purposes. So furthermore, if someone gets their hands on your social and they have your name, do you know that they can steal your identity? Do you know that they can go open up loans, apply for all of these different things just with that number? So why do you think they're asking you for your ID and a social? Because they're trying to swindle you and doing it for the money. They're not doing it for the benefit of you and I. They're doing it for the money. So of course they're like, oh, we got your letter. Send us back your ID and your social. Why do you need my social if my social is not to be used for identification purposes? You have to ask yourself that and you have to know that they are not here for you. They are not here to work in your highest and best interest. So in the event you are experiencing letters saying, send us your social, you're actually more than welcome to send them back a small handwritten letter saying, you know, a social is not um, used to as a form of identification. However, I have enclosed two forms of identification. These forms of identification actually can be your bank statement, um, the address and your name on your bank statement. This can be your passport. This can be your ID. This can be a utility bill. Okay, so keep that in mind. You do not have to send your social security card. You do not have to send your social security card. I'm gonna say that one more time. You do not have to send your social security card because anybody that gets their hands on your ID and your social together can steal your identity. 
So in the event you have sent back your social or an ID or whatever, and then you notice random accounts popping up on your consumer report, basically saying we reopened this account or, you know, we did X, Y, and Z. That's how they did it. They're, they have access to your social. So they're going to use that to their advantage and they're going to make sure it benefits them and they're going to swindle you. So this video is primarily to share with you other forms of identification. Again, you can use a utility bill, you can use your bank statement, you can use your passport, you can make your own ID. I'm in the state of Georgia and a couple of months ago, I actually went on to the website that gave me all of the requirements for a state ID and I made my own ID and it worked. <laughs> it definitely worked. So you can even do that depending on what state you're in. So I just wanted to give you those gems for the day. And also, if you are embarking on this journey where you are just wanting to exercise your rights as a consumer and take control of your credit and take control of your consumer report, first off, congratulations. Good job. Hand clap to you. That's amazing. So yes, don't be intimidated if you receive a response in the mail requesting that you send in your social security number or your social security card. You don't have to. You are more than welcome to send other forms of identification and call it a day, okay? So no intimidation, do not be afraid. You got this. Remember, you are in control. You, the consumer, have the power over these corporations. So keep that in mind as well when you are writing your letters. You will always win if you move in good faith with clean hands and you know what you're talking about. That's all I have for you today. I love you guys as usual. If you have any questions, you can email me at info at phoenixrisingacademy.org or you can follow me on Instagram, phoenix.rising808. For now, have a great day. I will talk to you soon.